Meet the Facts of Life, a TV series that took us on a roller coaster of laughter, shock, and tears back in 1979. No fancy plot twists or elaborate narratives, here just a group of girls navigating the ups and downs of life at Eastland School. Ever wondered how a show like this could resonate with you? Can you recall a moment when it struck a chord in your own life, inspiring or impacting you in unexpected ways? Share your cherished memories in the comments below, we're all ears. As you tune in, get ready for a ride through the funny, the shocking, and the downright heart-wrenching. The Facts of Life isn't just about entertainment, it's about life's raw, unfiltered moments. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic series? Drop your stories in the comments below and let's keep the nostalgia alive. Stay tuned for more, there's a lot more in store. Keep watching for the facts you never knew existed. In 1979, a TV series titled The Facts of Life premiered, taking viewers on a straightforward yet captivating journey through the lives of a group of girls at Eastland School. The show unfolded without intricate plot twists or elaborate narratives. Instead, it focused on the raw, unfiltered moments that make up the tapestry of life. Set against the backdrop of Eastland School, the series delved into the everyday experiences, challenges, and joys faced by the main characters. Its charm lay in its simplicity, resonating with audiences through relatable situations that elicited laughter, shock, and even tears. No grandiose storylines, just the genuine portrayal of the ups and downs of growing up. The characters, each with their unique personalities and quirks, contributed to the multifaceted dynamics of the show. The camaraderie and friendships formed at Eastland School became the heart of the series, drawing viewers into the bustling landscape of teenage life. As the series unfolded, viewers witnessed the characters navigate the complexities of adolescence, offering a mirror to the audience's own experiences. The show didn't merely entertain, it served as a testament to the shared human experience, capturing moments that left an indelible mark on the hearts of those who watched. Throughout its run, the facts of life achieved acclaim, leaving an enduring legacy in the realm of classic television. The series garnered awards and milestones, solidifying its place in the annals of television history. Its impact extended beyond the screen as audiences cherished it for the genuine portrayal of life's intricacies. So as you tune in, prepare for a journey through the funny, the shocking, and the downright heart-wrenching moments that make this timeless and captivating exploration of the human experience. Share your own stories and experiences related to this iconic series, and let's keep the nostalgia alive. In the realm of the facts of life, a TV series that commenced its journey in 1979, the show's commitment to respectful storytelling stands out. An Entertainment Weekly article reveals a pivotal moment when an anti-gay joke found its way into the script. However, Charlotte Ray, a key figure in the series, took a principled stance, vetoing the joke with a firm declaration, we do not make fun of people's sexuality on this show. Pamela Adlon, a cast member portraying a character notably younger than her peers, adds a layer of intrigue to the ensemble. In real life, she shares the same age as Nancy McKeon and Mindy Cohn, and surprisingly, she's three years senior to Kim Fields. David Spade, another actor in the mix, had an interesting subplot in the form of a backdoor pilot. This pilot, named Big Apple Blues, aimed to spawn a spin-off series centered around college roommates in New York City with Natalie as the focal point. Regrettably, this spin-off never materialized. The facts of life, with its unpretentious approach, weaves a narrative that reflects the genuine experiences of its characters. Through moments of laughter, shock, and genuine emotion, the series captures the essence of navigating the trials and tribulations of adolescence at Eastland School. As viewers, we are invited to witness not just a television show, but a portrayal of life's authentic and unfiltered moments, leaving a lasting impact on those who engage with its narrative. The setting of Eastland, situated in Peekskill, New York, provided a convenient backdrop for the characters of the facts of life. Located around 40 miles north of Manhattan, this proximity allowed wood characters like Blair and Joe to make frequent trips home. The short commute also explains the ongoing connection between Mrs. Garrett and the Drummond family post her departure. Mindy Cohn, who portrayed Natalie, didn't go through a conventional audition. Instead, producers observed her natural social charisma during a visit to a girl's school. Impressed, they molded the character of Natalie based on Cohn's personality, later confirming her suitability through a test for the role. 
In an intriguing revelation by Kim Fields during an interview with Dish Nation, she shared a childhood friendship with Janet Jackson. While starring in The Facts of Life, Fields, Michael, and Janet visited Disney World together, marking one of the standout moments in her life. The series, void of grandiose narratives, revolves around the daily lives of its characters at Eastland School. The charm lies in its simplicity, capturing genuine moments of teenage camaraderie. As viewers, we witness the characters navigate the complexities of adolescence, providing a mirror to our own experiences. The show's commitment to respectful storytelling is evident in a pivotal moment when an anti-gay joke was vetoed from the script by Charlotte Ray. This principled stance showcased a dedication to maintaining a sensitive narrative. Actor Pamela Adlon added an extra layer to the ensemble, portraying a character younger than her peers in a unique twist. Additionally, David Spade's involvement included a backdoor pilot that aimed to spin off into a series centered around Natalie, though it never materialized. The facts of life, with its unpretentious approach, authentically portrays the ups and downs of adolescence. Through moments of laughter, shock, and genuine emotion, the series captures the essence of navigating the trials and tribulations of teenage life at Eastland School. It remains a timeless exploration of the human experience. Charlotte Ray, who performed the opening theme song during the first season, later faced an amusing mishap on Alan Thicke's talk show. While singing, she forgot the lyrics, providing a lighthearted moment in contrast to the show's usual narrative tone. The incident showcased the human side of the performers. Jerry Jewell made television history as the first actress with a physical disability, cerebral palsy. Her inclusion in the cast marked a significant step toward greater representation on television, breaking barriers and broadening the scope of diversity in the industry. Lisa Welchel, reflecting on her experience, expressed a preference for the later episodes of The Facts of Life. She highlighted the shift towards more broad comedy and slapstick, indicating the evolution of the show's comedic elements as it neared its conclusion. This change in tone added variety to the series, keeping it dynamic until the end. In its initial seasons, Natalie and Blair faced a unique challenge, having to conceal their developing chest to maintain a youthful appearance. Lisa Welchel noted that discussions about real-life facts of life were off-limits on the show, a sentiment echoed by Janet Jackson on Good Times and other actresses in various productions. This practice of managing young girls' appearances in Hollywood dates back, unfortunately, to earlier times. The characters' origins added depth to the facts of life, with Mrs. Garrett and Beverly Ann hailing from Appleton, Wisconsin, Blair and Natalie from Manhattan, Joe from the Bronx, and Tootie from Washington, D.C. Nancy McKeon's entry into the cast as Joe had an interesting twist. Spotted in a Hallmark commercial, displaying her ability to cry on cue, she was chosen during a retooling phase suggested by NBC chairman Fred Silverman. This change aimed to bring in a Christy McNichol type, ultimately leading to Nancy's portrayal of Joe. The show's geographical backdrop, Eastland in Peekskill, New York, facilitated frequent trips for characters like Blair and Joe back to their homes in Manhattan and the Bronx. Mindy Cohn's casting as Natalie was unconventional. Her natural social charisma observed during a school visit convinced producers to tailor the character to her personality. Kim Fields shared an unexpected childhood connection with Janet Jackson, both starring in The Facts of Life. During their time on the show, Fields, along with Michael and Janet, visited Disney World, creating a standout memory for Fields. Charlotte Ray, the performer of the opening theme during the first season, experienced a lighthearted mishap on Alan Thicke's talk show when she forgot the lyrics. Jerry Jewell's inclusion in the cast marked a significant milestone as the first actress with cerebral palsy on television, contributing to increased diversity in the industry. Reflecting on the show's evolution, Lisa Welchel favored the later episodes, noting a shift towards broader comedy and slapstick, showcasing the series' comedic evolution until its conclusion.